Hey guys, it has been a while, and there's only a few things that uh, on a hot night like this would get me to make a video, and that is a package that arrived in the mail today from my good friends at Barnes & Noble. And this, this time of the year they're my good friends because they have their Criterion 50% off sale, so I picked up just three titles this time around. I might, I might get a couple more. I've got my eye on uh, Repo Man. So this time around what I picked up was a movie that I've been wanting to get for some time. I got it on Blu-ray. comes in a digi-book type of container and it's called The 400 Blows. This is Francois Truffaut's first film and most personal film. Uh, really deals with his alter ego here. This is this is the, the young man who represents Francois Truffaut. And Truffaut would go on to make some wonderful films, but um, this was his first. Prior to this, he, he was a critic. He was a, a film critic, and this made his transition from being film critic to actual director. And a pretty famous director. In fact, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, someone will probably likely correct me, I believe he was uh, in Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think I'm right. And we've got spy number, where are we at here? Uh, a 1959 movie, spy number, ooh. Always nice to pick up one of these. Spy number, get out of this light pool. Spy number five. Here's the back for those of you who keep track. Uh, newly restored high definition digital transfer fur with uncompressed and binaural soundtrack. Two audio commentaries, one by cinema professor Brian Stonehill, and another by Francois Truffaut's lifelong friend, Robert Lachenay. Rare audition footage of Jean-Pierre Laud, Patrick Offay, and Richard Canian. Visual footage of the TV of the uh, of Laud in Cannes for the showing of the 400 Blows, excerpt from a TV program in which Truffaut discusses his youth, his critical writings, and the origins of Antoine. Um, yeah. TV interview with Truffaut about the global reception of the 400 Blows and his own critical impression of the film, a theatrical trailer, plus an essay. Inside, not a lot really inside the slipcase. Kind of cool picture on the back here. Some school kids. I love stuff that, that, that you know, looks at youth and, and school days and so on. There's a booklet, pretty thin booklet actually, and the disc itself is uh, rather plain, but Overall, I like the packaging. For her blows, Francois Truffaut. Classic movie. Glad to add it to my collection. By the way, uh, Movie Man Bran, I think it was, asked me if I would do a overview of my entire Criteria collection. Uh, that is an endeavor, but I will do it probably soon. Next up, another Blu-ray. In oh, fact, all three of these are Blu-rays this time around, and it is. High and Low by Akira Kurosawa. I love this movie. I traded it. I don't even remember what I traded it for anymore, but at the time, I wanted whatever I traded it for more than this. And I'd seen High and Low. But, yeah, I really like Akira Kurosawa. And, and it was on sale. And I, I know I like this movie, so I thought, what the heck, I'll pick it back up again and watch it. I only watched it the one time, I think. Uh, so we've got the high definition... Digital, rest digital restoration, uh, four track surround, the DTS HD master audio, uh, audio commentary fe featuring uh, scholar Stephen Prince, 37 minute documentary on the making of High and Low, created as part of the Toho Masterwork series on Akira Kurosawa. A rare video interview with actor uh, Toshiro Mifune. Oh, nice from 1984. I like to see that. Video interview with actor uh, Somotomo Yamakazi. Yamazaki, sorry. The ethical trailers and teasers. Not really that hard to pronounce. You just get. You come across one of these names and you go nuts. Uh, Sutomo Yamazaki. If he's watching, I apologize. <laughs> and uh, the ethical trailer and teaser, plus a booklet uh, with an essay, which looks to be relatively thick from the look of it. This one, if you're keeping track, oh my lucky number, spine number 24. And again, this is the Blu-ray version. 
So I thought the DVD looked fine, but this is the Blu-ray version. 1963 film about a kidnapping. A wealthy industrialist played by uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's played by uh, Toshiro Mifune. Yeah, that's him. You know, I'm so used to being a samurai that it throws me when he's a businessman. Uh, he thinks his son is kidnapped, but it's actually, I believe, a friend of his, or maybe even a servant. But either way, uh, he is possibly going to be ruined if he pays this ransom. And that's the basic premise of high and low. It's good stuff there. Really like it. Anything on Criterion is good. And then there's some things that are just fantastic. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping this is one of them. I so look forward to this one. Uh, Paolo Pasolini's Trilogy of Life. The Decameron, The Canterbury Tales, and Arabian Nights. And this is the only one of my Blu-rays that has this thing on it from Criterion. Explicit content. Well, if you know anything about Pasolini, he's he's known to do some explicit stuff. I won't even watch Salo. Uh, I just, I don't know, just not going to watch that one. But I like body tales. And this is, these are supposed to be some body tales. In fact, I really like body tales. So I'm looking forward to it. Spine number... 631. There you go. There's what the side of this thing looks like. Pierre Pasolini's Pierre Pablo Pasolini's Opalo. Sorry. I'm read I know the name and I'm reading it, but I'm reading it wrong. So here's what the other side looks like. I really like the art, uh, the, the lettering I mean on this. And you've got 632, 633, and 634 in here. And in the back really cool really really looking forward to this in fact I heard this was the release of the year last year I didn't get it but I went another year and got it all three films in Italian uh, we've got 1971 1972 and 1974 uh, yeah I'll read you the back of this here uh, in the early 70s the great Italian poet philosopher and filmmaker Pierre Paolo Pasolini brought to the screen a trio of masterpieces of medieval literature Giovanni Boccaccio's The Decameron, Geoffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales, and The Thousand and One, uh, often known as The Arabian Nights. In doing so, created his most uninhibited and extravagant work. It is brazen and body triptych. That's a word I'll have to look up. The director set out to challenge modern consumer culture and celebrate the uncorrupted human body while commentary, commenta yeah, commenting on contemporary sexual and religious mores and hypocrisies. Well, what's wrong with that? Filled with scatological humor and a rough-hewn sensuality that leave all modern standards of decency behind. Yay for that. These are carnal, provocative, and wildly entertaining films, all extraordinarily designed by Dante Ferretti and featuring evocative music by Agno Morricone. You know, um, I pronounced that wrong, but... Um, I believe, isn't he the guy that did uh, the music for, like, um, one of the Spaghetti Westerns? Again, someone correct me if I'm wrong. I believe he is. You can tell I don't, re you can tell I don't rehearse this stuff before I do it. I basically wing this, and I think that's the best way to do it. I, I, I heard some people script their uh, their videos. I, I don't know how I do that. I, I just got to, like, kind of wing this thing. Uh, if I didn't wing it, I'd have all the pronunciations right, but it would sound kind of sterile, I think. Tons of special edition features. I'm not even going to read all these. Pause your pause your thing and read it yourself, my friends. But there's some pretty cool shit here. I'm going to open this up because I can. Because I can't wait any longer. It, it, it came in really great shape, too, by, for Barnes & Noble. I appreciate how they packaged it. It was... I don't want to bore you with the uh, un... Whatever you want to call it. The, the taking out of the box. I guess you call it an unboxing, or some people do. So again, here's the front. Love the artwork. Love the whole look of this thing. It's matted finish. We've got some nice pictures here on the top. Some nice shit here on the bottom. Another picture here on the bottom. I love this religious crap where they've got... Ooh, inside, you've got some um, artwork inside. It's kind of cool. I can make it out. It's going to be hard for you to make it out, but I can make it out. It's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, art. You can see what I work for. There's artwork down in there. And it is cool. 
box is pretty solid. And now you and I love the way they do this. Each one of these now has their own package. This one's the Arabian Nights. Looks pretty sweet. You've got the um, chapters over here on the side. You've got this, the purple C, purple inside, and there's a shot from the film. I love these things. I love these things with period pieces or with the, you know extravagant costumes, and then they you know they get down to the body nudity and the sexuality and the yeah really good stuff. Just a little sexuality, a little little nakedness there on the cover. Uh, ooh, 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 didn't see that. Next. I guess those pictures were actually on the cover too. I didn't notice that, but when you blow them up, it seem a little better. The Canterbury Tales. Well, Chaucer's always uh, been known to have. Uh, thank you for the little uh, red fig leaf there. Um, Chaucer, red on this one. Chaucer's always been known for body tales. This one's no exception. Just shot from the film. The colors look really good. Yeah, I like the look of this disc. Of course matches the other kind of front. And again, we've got each of the different tails here. I thought the Miller's tail was one of the bodier ones, but I'm sure they're all going to be. Yeah, good stuff. And the last one is the Decameron, which is actually the first one he made. I don't really know a lot about the Decameron, to be honest with you. It means ten something or other. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't see 10 things there. Deca would be 10. So this would mean something to do with 10. I uh, couldn't tell you. I'm sure I'll learn it along the way, though. It's got to be blue, right? Yeah, blue inside. And get a shot from the film. Let's see where that's going. It's really well done, the packaging on this. I, I really do like these. Quite a bit. I've got a couple other sets that are similar to this. And you've got the uh, nice stuff. Really like them. So you've got the Canterbury Tales, the Arabian Nights, and the Decameron. And ooh, let's not forget the booklet, which is extremely thick. Which is part of the reason why it's in a set like this, I guess. A big, thick booklet. We're looking at, uh, I don't know, about 65 pages here. And you're going to have some artwork, pictures from the film, the making of the film, some scenes. I'm really going to like this, I can tell already. I can tell already I'm going to like this quite a bit. Yeah. If you have this one, let me know what you think. I know some of you got it before. Some of you were thinking about getting it. It's really well done. It's heavy. And it feels uh, sturdy, and the movies look fantastic from what I can tell so far. And I'm really looking forward to watching that. Of course, then I also picked up Kira Kurosawa's High and Low, a story about a kidnapping and a a rich, rich uh, industrialist who uh, tries to get the boy back. And then finally, Francois Truffaut's. Original film, first film, The 400 Blows, still considered to be a classic film. And I'm looking forward to that one too. So, uh, one in French, one in Japanese, and three in Italian. What's well, not to like, guys? It's my uh, Criterion pickups from Barnes & Noble. At least so far. Again, if you if you've gotten um, Repo Man, let me know. If there's something else you'd highly recommend, I've got a lot of Criterion's, but uh, if you see anything that's uh, more recent, especially that they just put out that you think is pretty cool, let me know. And I'm going to do an overview of my collection here shortly, so look for that to come up. Hopefully, uh, others beyond uh, Movie Man brand will enjoy it. All right, guys. Dean of DVD saying take care.